Do you guys just feel like you're having a pinch me kind of moment being in this DC universe? I mean, it feels like it's perhaps like a childhood dream maybe to some to be in like a comic book film. Was that the case for y'all? Yeah, I, this is my first big feature film and for it to be like this ginormous Harley Quinn DC movie is crazy. I still can't believe it. It feels like one long dream, like someone needs to pinch me awake. But you're an old soul, you're like a pro. It feels like you've been doing this forever. Yeah. Media training. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Margot? Being in this DC universe, I'm just so happy that the movie's finally about to come out. I feel like it's been a pretty long road to get here, and at points I was like, it's never gonna happen. Yeah. I, I it's just can't get it up over the line, you know? What so, made you think that, though? Well, it was a pretty risky proposition when I first pitched it, you know, four and a half years ago. I put the pitch together and I was saying, I think we should do a female ensemble action film with an R rating, and that sounded like an insane thing to do. Uh -huh. And, you know, I, I could totally understand everyone's hesitation. And then movies like Deadpool started coming out and proving that right. you can do an R rating in the comic book space and have it be successful. And I think, not even in the comic book world, but I feel like films in general, and maybe that's thanks to streaming services and things like that, but I feel like there's such a positive response to something new and fresh and yeah. different. Um, and people are really hungry to see something they haven't seen before, particularly in this day and age. So I feel like all those things helped kind of get this, this film up and running. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just, I'm just stoked it's gonna be out in the world. Are we ready? Love seeing that female power on screen, but also behind the screen as well, from producing to directing and screenwriting. So very cool, hats yeah. off to you for Thanks. sure. Now I gotta talk to you about a particular scene in particular. Um, there was the sequence where you were shooting Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend, so that had to be especially fun to shoot. We've seen mm -hmm. that scene, you know, kind of play out in different atmospheres before, but were you channeling more of like a Marilyn Monroe or Madonna material girl? Bit of both, uh -huh. because I think there's like a bit of Harley in, in both, but I think it was more the, the theme, obviously, and the diamond is such prevalent MacGuffin throughout the whole film. Right. But it was really interesting and something that Kathy spoke about, our director spoke about a lot in her initial pitch is, the, what a diamond represents and what the idea of society puts on it to, you know, as as far as women are concerned and, and this like ownership slash desire. She had this incredible idea about diamonds in general and we, we knew that we really wanted to play into that. And that not only gives you a, an iconic moment to kind of replicate that Marilyn look on the stairs. Mm -hmm. It also meant that we all got to do dance lessons, and <laughs> um, that was really fun. <laughs> so it was it was fun. It was poignant, thematically appropriate. Yeah, um, it was so good though. It's like yeah. which was more difficult, the dance scenes and the dance rehearsal, or some of the stunts? You know what I mean? The training for that. Uh, the stunts were so hard. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> what did you make of that scene? I loved the dancing. I was I was added last minute to the to the dance. I, I was, think yeah, I you so really happy. volunteered. So I got into so it. It Chris was, was like, I should be in the dance scene. We're like, do you want to? And he's like, yes. And we were like, that's a great idea. What did you love most about your costumes? Favorite elements there? My favorite costume was that Marilyn outfit. Really? Yeah, oh. because it was, you know, a beautiful replica of the iconic look, yeah. but with trousers instead of a skirt. Modernizing it a bit. Exactly. I actually love my cast. I feel like that's that's kind of her armor and her shield, and it's really a part of her, and I actually designed all of the stuff on the cast, like a bunch of bad words and like <laughs> blood and stuff, but that was that was super fun, and I actually got to keep it, which oh, is super cool. Great souvenir. I liked it all. We had a great costume designer. It was, it was amazing, you know, when you put on a lot of times you're finding your character through the uh, through costume fittings and, and this in particular uh -huh. all, all the wardrobe was incredible. I have to say I if I was gonna steal anyone's clothes it would have been Zaz's clothes there was so many so outfits cool. where I was like I would wear that that looks so, <laughs> so sick cool. yeah, was, yeah some of your trousers were actually ladies yeah trousers. yeah Ooh, fun yeah. fact yeah. Yeah. yeah I gotta ask Belgium. what does your hubby think of your whole Harley Quinn transformation and get up? No, I mean, what? I think he thought it looked really cool. Yeah. He he really really liked the costumes in this one, the whole mm. look. I never actually asked him which version of Harley he prefers aesthetically, because there's three now. I'll ask him the next time yes. I talk to and him. We'll, and we'll have to catch up on that <laughs> yeah. front. So we see Harley go through this transformation where she cuts her hair, because it's post breakup, so it's kind of like that moment for her to rid herself of the Joker from a physical perspective, yeah. I guess you could say. Have you guys ever had a moment where you've gone through a, a breakup and you feel like, oh, I've got to do something drastic, like chop my hair and just have some 
huge transformation there. I haven't done anything quite as um, yeah, dramatic as, as the stages of breakup that Harley goes through, uh -huh. but I do have a wonderful group of girlfriends back in Australia. Mm -hmm. We've been friends since we were like four years old, and um, any time a dude breaks up with a girl in the group, uh, all the girls go and egg his car. So, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's happened. Yeah. One time yes. I broke up with a boyfriend and they were like, how dare he? We're going to go egg him. And I was like, no, don't. I broke up with him. He's a really nice person. Please don't egg his car. It's Thank amazing. you. I love you guys. That's don't do amazing. that. Oh, my gosh. You know, award season's wrapping up for you, Margot. And unfortunately, you had to miss out on the Oscar luncheon. I know. And seeing that cast photo, did you have like major FOMO for missing out? I mean, Yes and no. Yes, because I, I did, last time I went to that lunch and it was, it is a really, really special event and I got to sit next to PTA, so life goal achieved right there. But um, no, to be here with this film and with these guys, I, I really am so, so happy. So That's I wish I could duplicate myself and be in many places at once, but <laughs> I I, I'm just happy to be here.